Hello, everyone. Um, thanks for joining this session. I'm Pierre Luigi Bosco. I lead uh, the global uh, CRA team, CRM uh, uh, function in Shell and Shell Mobility business. I will spend the next tw 20 minutes talking about a bit of uh, our case studies on a CRM uh, program, the way we have evolved the program, uh, trying to be more close to our customer, but also how we've transformed our uh, uh, marketing operation at scale. Uh, most of the, the, <laughs> the presentation I've been, uh, I've been in the past or, 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 or uh, I've seen, uh, uh, normally they talk about, you know, creative and, and uh, strategies. So I think it's one important topics that is uh, most of the time uh, neglect is how we operate as a marketing business, especially in the digital, uh, in the digital uh, um, uh, areas and in CRM in particular, which is very connected between business, uh, technology, and, uh, and obviously customers. A um, couple of, uh, we'll spend the next uh, 20 minutes, I will do a quick introduction uh, of myself. As I said, I'm Pierluigi, I'm from Italy, uh, I can see. I guess you can guess from my accent. Uh, Italy, you can see a, a nice uh, pizza there. I'm from south of Italy, from Naples in particular. I'm just back in the UK to, uh, since two days ago. Spent last five months in Italy, so um, uh, quite uh, quite happy to be back in the UK anyways. Um, so you can see the other pictures here in the middle. It's not me. I'm not a, a, a rider, but I, I love to travel. I've been... Uh, thanks to my job, I've been able to to, to uh, work in six different uh, uh, countries to live um, and 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 travel for work, but also for pleasure. I work in Shell. I joined Shell in 2009 uh, for as a CRM manager for the Shell Italian business uh, based in Milan. And uh, after four years of leading the a big transformation we had in the, in the, in the Italian business um, um, to uh, launching a new digital program, launching uh, a big partnership um, uh, uh, with, the, with, the, with the local uh, um, uh, um, GDO vendor and, 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 and motorsport vendors. Um, I moved to the UK uh, and I've been uh, uh, working in the payment and loyalty and CRM business since, uh, since then in 2013. Uh, yeah, so that makes 11 years in, 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 the, in this space. Um, how are we going to spend you know, the next uh, 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 17 minutes? So I will give you a bit of an overview of the Shell Mobility business. Um, so to give you the context of how we where we operate, uh, I will spend a little time on on uh, what drove our change in in, in in CRM, the reasons for change, what was our approach, and mainly the learning. And hopefully, uh, we will uh, 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 um, get in contact after this uh, 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 to 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 go to uh, any potential. And obviously, this is the, the content is way more than 20 minutes, uh, but I will try to be short. But you know, feel free to reach out to me uh, after the presentation to if you're interested for any any further um, uh, 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 deep dives or, or, or questions. And it would be also nice to, uh, to learn your your experience. In, in this, I think I, I totally believe uh, in in peers exchange uh, of, of of learnings, especially in such a, a dynamic environment uh, we're working on. Um, so, uh, business overview. So, the mobility business in Shell is is uh, uh, um, uh, uh, is a huge component of our marketing uh, businesses within the downstream. Uh, 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 department within Shell. Uh, Shell is the biggest uh, mobility retailer in the world. We operate uh, 46,000. This slide is, is, is slightly out today, so it's been we've been growing our our site since this slide has been produced. But 46,000 uh, sites. This is uh, worldwide, without considering 60,000 EV charging uh, uh, stations, uh, um, which 
uh, is one of the biggest going uh, uh, sector or, or, or part of our our mobility business, uh, hoping to so planning to 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 go up to half million um, um, EV charging station by the 2025. Uh, we serve around 30 million customer every single day. Uh, across 80 countries, as you can see, some some of the stats here, uh, we uh, uh, we have roughly uh, uh, 19 million active users in our loyalty program. We sell uh, 250 million cups of coffee uh, every day. Uh, uh, um, so so just to uh, sorry, this is annually. Um, and anyway, the, the approximately the retail sales is around six billion. Uh, convenience retail sales uh, uh, per year. Yeah. So this is you know, just to give you the scale of what we do. Um, but in particular, I work in in, uh, in so our CRM activities uh, globally covers 23 markets across Americas, Europe, and and uh, uh, and Asia. Obviously, the majority of uh, so we have big businesses in North America, but uh, in each of these market, uh, we operate. Uh, 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 so as you can imagine, not uh, always uh, in the in the same way. We work uh, uh, as a um, in some market as a coalition scheme, like could be in the U.S. Uh, we have a partnership with our fuel award. Uh, 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 um, um, uh, a fewer words uh, scheme. Uh, so where Shell is a partner within it, or in Malaysia, for instance, we have our bonus link uh, loyalty scheme, which is a coalition program. Uh, but in in uh, in many other markets, uh, we have we uh, directly own the the loyalty program and we directly own the 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 customer data. Therefore, we can use the data from uh, from the loyalty perspective on any digital interaction to create. Uh, customer a better customer experience for for our customers. So what is CRM Shell? CRM Shell is a strategy uh, for building and nurturing a relationship with our customer via marketing. Uh, that means that we, as I said, we use we want to understand our customer uh, to their to their data to the to the, the the relationship that we're building with them and, and going over time, like person that when they just join our loyalty program, as it's like a, m meeting a new person, you need to nurture, you need to understand, you need to build their profile, and then building a relationship, a long lasting relationship with them. With them. Um, why this is important? And again, I may not say something uh, uh, new to you because I expect that most of you are in this sector and you know, feel free to set to reach out to to, uh, to to have uh, to, to if you disagree or you want to have a chat about it, uh, but ultimately the the why CRM is important for the shell organizations because we see that the success rates or, or selling to a customer uh, uh, that you already have is 60 70 percent, while the success rate of selling new customer is five to twenty percent. What this means is is the cost. Uh, uh, per uh, acquisition, the cost of conversion uh, to a loyalty customer uh, and an existing customer is uh, much lower uh, than keep going to um, uh, acquire a new customer. Obviously, both parties are, are fundamental in our end-to-end -end funnel, customer funnel, uh, but uh, we, we've seen that the success rate is, is higher, so every dollar that we invest in existing customer may give us more dollar back, yeah. And ultimately, yeah, so this is to, to complete the context, how we see the, um, our ambition in, in CRM. As I said, uh, what we want to do is to uh, uh, power data driven marketing agenda uh, and enrich customer experience by making every interaction with Shell seamless, relevant, and valuable. Um, and, uh, um, 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 uh, yeah, so the, the key things are that these three last words. Yeah, so we want that customer, uh, when interact with Shell, uh, is a seamless experience, uh, relevant, so using the data for, for, for uh, making the, uh, uh, feel the customer that we uh, 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 create something that, that is very 
uh, uh, relevant. So they don't need to have uh, do an extra uh, action to, to to interact with Shell, but also valuable. So uh, I do believe there is a, a a value exchange when we talk about CRM and loyalty in uh, in the retail business, um, where a customer knows nowadays that the value that they give that by uh, allowing the a company to use and to manage their, their data, uh, and they want a, a value exchange back. And so this is a, a concept that I will, I will uh, uh, um, explain, so I will, I will cover also in the next uh, few slides. Persons for change. Yeah, so the, the, the word is, is changing. As I said, I'm, I'm doing this whole, uh, 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 with, I'm working within the digital marketing since 12 years, and I've seen a lot of uh, how fast the, the customer expectation and, and uh, uh, led by technology is uh, uh, as, uh, as, as going. And so, um, and, and no, we, we are able and the customer expect that throughout their journey and wherever Shell, uh, a big brand like Shell is, is uh, uh, interact with customer, the customer expect a certain level of understanding of what they do. Uh, if they share their their uh, 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 their data, if they uh, act come a shell, they want a seamless experience. They want to make sure that if they leave their home uh, and and uh, go on the shell website, uh, we need to be able to 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 uh, and if they use the shell app to to go to a station locator, if they. Um, use the, the, the you know, come and buy fuel. So uh, when we communicate with them, uh, they want to see uh, 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 that we understand their, their journeys. And, you know, and a cust customer journey mapping is critical. Um, but what does it mean in practice? So, so, and this is a word uh, 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 that, that, that uh, when we did some, some research in, in, uh, in Thailand, in, in uh, um, uh, in Czech Republic uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, it was quite clear for most of the customers, it says, we expect Shell to know who I am, understand uh, my needs, and create a personalized experience for me. Um, and that's still, yes, if you think about uh, uh, yourself, and sometimes when I open my uh, email in the morning, I receive 20, 30 emails from all uh, uh, type of company I've subscribed or I've been in contact with in the past. But the reality is uh, how many of them do you click automatically go in the, into the bin and how many of them you read? I, I personally, out of probably 20, I may read uh, always say one or two emails uh, uh, from those. And those are the company that they really have been uh, 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 sending something that I want to read. So people are, are really uh, 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 living a frenetic life, uh, I don't want to waste their time to read something which is not relevant. Yeah. So what we've seen in Shell, yeah. So where we're moving from is uh, uh, um, we want to make sure we uh, have a, a relevant uh, increase our relevance to the customer, uh, um, challenging our operating model. We want to have increase our speed to market and scalability. So we, we, where we come from is we used to have uh, batch communications, very mass customization, uh, uh, channel working. So what this means is that basically we used to send a series of monthly batch campaign, uh, fairly targeted in terms so we have multiple variation, but not really personalized. You can't have, uh, you know, a, 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 a really to one-to-one -one communication within a batch uh, uh, communications if within a cluster. You still all need to cluster customer within 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 a certain uh, uh, preferences, certain uh, demographics, um, which we seen that something we want to move away from. from. Uh, channels where we use to send communication, we use emails, mm -hmm. SMS, direct mail, mobile app, web. Uh, however, we uh, due to uh, lack at the time of technology, we used to send mainly you know, customer based on 
uh, not necessarily what customer wanted uh, uh, as a prefer channel of preference. We used to uh, um, uh, send communication to the channel of our preference. So obviously, starting from uh, uh, ROI perspective. Um, and um, we, used to, we used to have a, 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 um, uh, a limited insight. So you know, f f fairly, fairly uh, uh, to understand customer behavior, but you know, you know uh, uh, definitely something that we we, uh, uh, we could improve. For instance, one of the big uh, uh, gap was not having a, a, a wealth of data of our retail uh, um, convenience retailing business. So having all the shops all outside the fuel, outside the 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 the, 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 the fueling and, and car wash and related to car care. Uh, uh, we have limited uh, visibility of the data in in, in, in convenience retailing business, uh, which obviously limited the amount of relevancy that we can we can do for our competition. Second, and again, this is the part that we spend most of the time is the is the operational uh, uh, model. How we make sure that our end-to-end -end process is seamless, is is uh, uh, efficient, and, um, and and relevant. Uh, speed to market and scalability. How we make sure that we we, we increase uh, our uh, replication across multiple markets. So, our approach. Yeah, we we create. We took the 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 our uh, 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 approach in three areas, and I will spend most of the time in the next five minutes to the last one. But basically, what we want to move, we look at the strategy. Yeah. So, what's what's our communication strategy in? Uh, uh, and we and as I said, we started from very batch uh, offer-based content, reactive model. So customer does an, an action, and we respond to a specific um, uh, 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 with a specific offer. And, and you know, very offer-based. You your customer so in transactional rational rational uh, approach. Customer uh, come a shell, buy fuel. I give you an offer. Uh, what we want to move to, and there was a big amount of work, and again, uh, I won't be able, to, be able to spend too much time on this, this call, but feel free to happy to, to have a chat, a separate session uh, on, on the first two pillars. But we, we move to a, a much more timely, tiger-based communications. We want to make sure that the, the communication is, is not batched. We, are, we, we reach the customer at the right time at the, through the right channel. Uh, uh, having a much more Content, contextual content um, uh, strategy. So uh, beyond the offers, how we engage emotionally with our customer using data on uh, to understand the customer behavior, but translate that beyond the, 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 the value exchange and the, and the rational part of the offer to uh, more content, more more emotional content. And using more predictive modeling, so rather than reactive, so customer to a specific behavior, you react. Uh, how, but predicting our next best action, uh, and this would be enabled also from a, a, a much better um, uh, data uh, 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 that, that we 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 been doing some work on the data, making sure that that we have a consistent data in 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 a specific platform. To, to to standardize uh, and create this predictive modeling uh, like a churn. So making sure when we expect customer to churn, to react before customer uh, leaving shell. Uh, technology, yes. Yeah, so so uh, uh, data. Uh, uh, so we, what we've done is we implement uh, our Adobe campaigns. We've done a, a, we have a, um, a, a big partnership with the. With Adobe and implement the Adobe campaign system, so making sure that that we have consistent technology across the technology stack across uh, uh, in that case, in this case, are up to thirteen markets, in shell, uh, which enable us to have a, a channel harmonization. So making sure, so understanding what customer uh, uh, channel preferences and making sure that each communication is sent to the right channel and then being channel isolated, as I said before. Uh, and uh, reduce the, the cost of new market coming into the technology. Um, uh, so so uh, having a, a globalized 
and, and standardized platform enable us to, 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 to scale up multiple markets. But as I said, uh, uh, I will spend the next, next few minutes in the operation already model, where we moved from a, a single agency to a multi-roster agency, from a, a, a light market presence where most of the of the activities in our uh, agency and, and the global team were sitting in one location, uh, and we moved to in the heavy market presence and ownership, so moved from global to local uh, uh, understanding, so uh, uh, ownership of, of the one program, uh, and moving uh, some, wherever possible, uh, um, some agency operations from near shore to offshore uh, operations in in uh, in our hub in Mumbai, Mumbai, um, India. So, uh, and all above. So, moving all this uh, from single agency, multi agency, giving market the optionality of of uh, deciding which agency they want to work with. Uh, moving from every London London uh, presence to. A, a, a small a, a small strategic hub in London, but mainly much more presence in the market, whether it's market or regional hub, to support the speed of how we can operate, especially in Eastern market, where we see that 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 we, the, the way we are sending campaign was much slower, um, and uh, uh, and moving some of the operations wherever is no need to, to to have local contexts, wherever you need to have uh, uh, more uh, operational activities, we moved into an offshore location. All of this, uh, the challenge was to move, to keep consistent in the strategy, strategic direction. Um, in, uh, uh, um, the approach was very, very simple. We assessed the model, we, we analyzed what's the performance of the model, uh, which was very uh, centralized model. Uh, and and uh, um, uh, we assessed all the cost. The, 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 we, we interviewed all the uh, internal stakeholders. We assessed the industry, how the industry uh, model uh, was. We assessed the customer. So we reviewed the customer service uh, activities. We have uh, briefed our customer service to ask questions on what customers see in our uh, uh, in our. Uh, um, uh, CRM program within some focus group in some of the market, uh, uh, understanding what the customer wants. And this is, the, for me, the key learning, that, that understanding what the customer will want first, and then uh, build the strategy, building the, uh, 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 the model on how, how to, to achieve those goals. Yeah. Uh, after that, we had to plan we planned the, the, uh, all our uh, uh, transitions, which took six months uh, to transition uh, 11 market in, across the EU and uh, in Asia into the new model, and deploy uh, and stabilize. This took a few months to, to the new model to roll out. Uh, so what the new model will look like? Yes, so as I said, from single agency, every, every uh, 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 European operations, to four uh, main scope from the agency and obviously uh, Shell. Yeah? So having still a strategic app, very lean, small small team, whether in, 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 in Shell and in our uh, CRM agency. Moving our campaign operation, the people that build the, the diagram into our tech into and a, 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 a receive instruction from Shell local teams into our up in an offshore location, as well as the MarkTech. So these are the, the two areas uh, is are, are very linked. And the MarkTech means the team that support the campaign team uh, operations to make sure that the, our technology is up and running and the data is correct. So when they receive brief from Shell local teams uh, to deploy a specific campaign, these are the team that, that are, are responsible to make sure that the, the technology is up and running. And the local market agency said so this this is the uh, uh, the key uh, areas to, to we upweigh the scale of what is done in the market working with with our local teams to, to deliver and to, to um, uh, create uh, as much as uh, 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 
locally relevant, customer relevant uh, communication. Obviously, this, this team will have a, a very important role to, to make sure that when we are learning from a market, this is, is to replicate across multiple markets when possible. Uh, uh, and, and the replication is one of the, the key is it, uh, learning of this model, where we need to balance what is the local nuances versus the, 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 replicate, the, the replication. Um, last slide, uh, and again, unfortunately, I went a little bit over uh, on, on time, uh, but, uh, but you feel free to reach out to me, to LinkedIn, or to, uh, to, to Timir, I'm happy to, 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 um, to deep dive of any of this, uh, of, of, of this session. Uh, but what is, what is the outcome, and what is the, uh, 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 the, 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 how this new model has helped Shell to engage with our customer better? So we've seen from one side, uh, we incremental value. So by increasing the 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 the, um, uh, the speed to market, reducing the cost with operations in offshore location, and and networking uh, across multiple market to to enhance our application work, but also at the same time uh, develop more talent in market. This is as not only in the short term as driven cost efficiency, but also in the long term uh, uh, we have build a structure with an enable to sustainable growth to so develop our local talent more because we move more, more decision making into the, into the markets, improve relevancy, having the decision making closer to our customer and lower in the, uh, the uh, barrier of entry. Uh, just to close out, uh, three, uh, the three areas that, that for me was the key learning into this process that always start with the customer needs your, and, and your business strategy, how to address the customer need. Customers want to have uh, more relevant communication closer to, 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 to uh, what they do, and then uh, and we address strategically from marketing uh, perspective. Um, strong value storyline to encapsulate the end-to-end -end business benefit. So, so in um, uh, when you get the customer, you need to get the, what is the, the value of any investment you. Uh, in digital marketing, most of the cases, when you need to build a new use case, you have uh, a, a strong, uh, high cost. Uh, so you need to uh, make sure you, you, you create the own uh, uh, cost of ownership to, to, um, um, to build, to build the, the, your use case. And uh, business IT needs, so we are in a, in a space where the business and IT need to be working. Uh, uh, much closer together. So that said, uh, we have some uh, questions on Q&A, but uh, uh, I will answer your questions. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, time uh, and for your patience to listen to my presentation.